welcome dear learners my name is suraj mashilkar assistant professor aissms college of hotel management today we are going to go through with the session of new concepts genetically modified food before we move on to the session let's see the objectives of the session the objectives of the session are to describe the genetically modified foods to recall various facts of genetically modified foods to list the benefits of genetically modified foods to identify controversies of genetically modified foods and to list various examples of genetically modified foods these are the objectives of the session let's see the first objective genetically modified foods what are genetically modified foods the genetically modified foods also known as genetically engineered foods ge foods or bioengineered foods are food produced from organisms that have had changes introduced into their dna using the methods of genetic engineering in simple terms the genetically modified foods are obtained from gmos gmos nothing but genetically modified organisms according to who that is world health organization in gm foods the natural form of the food is manipulated genetically in a laboratory what are genetically modified foods genetically modified foods involve the insertion of dna from one organism into another or it is a modification of the dna's of the organism in order to achieve a desired trait in the same for example the dna of an arctic fish added into the strawberries so as to sustain the frost hence the strawberries can sustain in the frost as well let's have a look at some facts of genetically modified foods the scientists have been tampering with the dna's of commercial food for almost the last two decades covering almost the complete food pyramid the test of genetically modified foods started in the 20th century continuing till date Various researchers says that human being have been practicing this genetically modification since the beginning of growing the crops and breeding the animals. The first genetically modified food approved for release was the Palva Seva tomato in 1994 produced by the Californian company Calgene. Let's see certain benefits of genetically modified foods. The scientists have tested the genetically modified foods with some benefits for the mankind. Following are some benefits of GM foods. First, increased taste, nutrient and quality. To achieve a certain nutrient level and quality of a certain product, these genetically modified foods are best. Less maturation time. Due to the change in the DNAs of the crops or the organisms the maturation period of the particular product is lesser than its regular next increase outcome oblique yield if the genetically modified foods are made in such a way where the products are resistant to the disease pests and insects obviously the outcome of that particular product will be more than the regular next they are made resistant to pest disease and insects the crops or the organisms are resistant to pest disease and insects especially the crops crops are modified with the dnas in such a way that they become resistant to any sort of disease pests or insects stress tolerance the dnas of the particular crop or the organisms are modified in such a way that they become stress tolerance in terms of any sort of weather effects climatic conditions or natural calamities against which the organisms becomes tolerant developing new products oblique techniques after genetically modified foods they can be developed with new products or new techniques next is increase in farmers income if there is a crop which is made a resistant of pest disease and insects the farmers won't have to use any sort of pesticides insecticides making their investment a little less also 
due to which the outcome of the yield would also increase hence increasing the farmer's income last but not the least the benefit of genetically modified food is increased food supplies as growing population we will need a good amount of food supply hence genetically modified foods may become the solution to it these are certain benefits of genetically modified foods with benefits there are certain controversies as well let's see the controversies of genetically modified foods the genetically modified foods are made with the tampering of the natural state of the organism of black foods there are some controversies against the same the scientists and some pressure groups like greenpeace and world wildlife funds are claiming that there is no guarantee of these genetically modified foods following are some controversies of the genetically modified foods first health risk even on being tested in the laboratories there is no guarantee of these genetically modified foods they might be at health risk for the human being effects on the ecosystem it will affect the complete ecosystem of the nature loss of biodiversity there will be a loss of biodiversity it will affect the food pyramid at some extent super pests the crops which are made uh, pest resistant might lead the pest into developing their genes into such a way that they are resistant to those particular crops which are genetically modified foods and making them as the super pest which might lead to use more and more chemicals on the crop violation of natural state genetically modified foods are nothing but the tampering of natural state of those organisms hence it will be a violation towards the nature killing of other insects crops made insects resistant may kill the insects which are beautiful in terms of their appearance like the beautiful butterflies last but not the least putting animal genes in plants is one of the biggest controversy in genetically modified foods as it will affect the morale of a particular human being of not consuming any animal food like being vegan let's have a look at a video of a various benefits and controversies of the gm foods Food fuels your body. It's an essential part of everyone's lives. And by everyone, we mean a current world population of almost 8 billion people. A population that's expected to double in the next 50 years and that already has to deal with major global food challenges. Currently, 40% of the world's food crop is lost every year. And over 1 billion people are suffering from a lack of food. To feed this growing population in 2050, food production must increase by 70%. How are we going to deal with this challenge? Could genetically modified organisms be the solution? GMOs are living organisms whose genetic material is artificially manipulated. This creates combinations of plant, animal, bacteria and virus genes that do not occur in nature. For example, scientists are able to take a soil bacteria, remove its gene which produces a protein that's toxic only for caterpillars, and incorporate it into the chromosomes of corn. The technology enables us to increase our food production and make it more efficient. Modified food crops will be resistant to insects, fungal diseases, and extreme weather conditions. They'll grow faster, need fewer acres to grow, and contain more nutrient ingredients. GMOs can fight malnutrition and decrease CO2 emissions and water usage of greenhouses. Sounds good, right? Well, there is also a lot of controversy about GMOs. Since they don't stay put where planted, modified crops could contaminate nearby organics when pollen drift on the wind. 
Over time, pests like insects might catch up with GMOs, evolve into superbugs, and therefore, the use of chemicals will increase. On an even darker note, a handful of powerful corporations could dominate the entire food industry and control nearly every aspect of how food is produced. They will not only control seed manufacturing, but also link them to specific chemicals that these companies sell in order to grow. Ultimately, their only concern is about their profits. So are GMOs intended to feed people and help farmers, or are they developed for financial gain? Politicians all around the world are still wrapping their heads around this question. We do need drastic measures in order to deal with the upcoming global food challenge. But do we want everything that we eat to originate from a petri dish? Or are there better solutions? So these are certain benefits and controversies over the genetically modified foods. Also, it is helpful at a point, but obviously as said in the video, we won't like to have food which is developed in a petri dish in a science lab. Let's move forward and see what are the different examples of genetically modified foods. First, corn. Corn used for food and ethanol has been genetically modified to tolerate various herbicides and, and to express a protein from Bacillus thuringiensis that kills certain insects. Next, soya bean. Most of the soya grown in USA is made with genetically modified organisms. Next is cotton. GMO cottons was created to resist them to ball worms and help revive the Alabama cotton industry. Next, potatoes. Potatoes were developed to resist insects, pests and other disease. Also, they were developed in such a way to reduce the browning of the potatoes. Next is apple. Apples were developed to resist browning after being cut, hence developing the product. Next is canola. GMO canola is resistant to herbicide and helps farmers to more easily control weeds in their fields, hence developing or increasing that particular production of canola. Next is alfalfa. Alpha. A primarily fed of the cattle is made resistant to the herbicides, which is alfalfa. Alpha. Let's have a look at a video of a news over the genetically modified foods. GM stands for genetically modified, which is the process of changing the genes of a living thing to alter its characteristics. For example, plants can be genetically modified to help them grow in areas where water is scarce or to be more resistant to pests. Some of the most common crops that are modified are soybean, maize and cotton. The United States is the top producer of GM crops in the world, followed by Brazil and Argentina. In Africa, GM crops are grown commercially in South Africa, Sudan, Egypt and Burkina Faso. Genetically modified foods are controversial because critics say the technology is messing with nature. There are also concerns that mass production of GM crops can force smaller independent farms out of business. Genetic modification can increase the amount of food that crops produce, giving us all more to eat. And fruit can be altered so that it grows bigger and lasts longer. So, is GM the food of the future? Tomatoes are usually red, right? But this strange looking purple tomato was created by scientists to have the same health benefits as fruit such as blueberries. This golden rice has been adapted to be rich in vitamin A, which is good for our eyes. And this onion has had its genes altered so it doesn't make you cry. So that's what GM foods are. Will the GM food be the future of our food? Thank you for patiently listening to this particular video. Please like and subscribe the channel. Also attempt the small quiz related to the topic through the link provided in the description of YouTube video. References, data credits, photo credits, and PPT template credits. Thank you.